Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some GeoGuessr, where the music has just <laughs> died out the second I started recording. That's funny. Change Bad time to change tracks. Uh, we're going to do the subreddit GeoGuessr daily challenge for uh, the 12th of April. It's a five-minute timer. Let's do it. We're in Europe. No, we're not. We're in uh, Japan. Yep, on the 9. We're in Japan, traveling on the 9. At uh, the intersection of, I have no idea, but the Isataki station is that way. This way is a small road. But it's the 9, 100%. Oh, here we go. Isatokecho. Isatokecho. Takecho. Probably Takecho. All right, anyway, it's Japan, and it's the nine. Now, I don't know how the roads work in Japan. Hopefully, they're semi-intelligent. There's an 11, there's a two. There's the nine. The nine runs all this way, so the nine is fairly long. Uh, Isotake. And comes all the way down into here through Fuk uh, Fukuchiyama. Comes all the way down through here. Comes down through Kyoto. Uh, does not survive Kyoto. No, it does not survive Kyoto. Okay, so uh, we're looking for Isotake, Isotake, Isotake Cho. Uh, come along the line, up through Osago, the Iwami, Totori, Totori again, Totoro Koi, Sanimanandai San. Uh, the nine survives all the way through to Oda, Gotsu, Amada, Masuda, Swanio, Amaguchi, Amaguchi, down to Ube. Okay, well, we're going to have to zoom in if we want something a little bit better, aren't we? Ikawara? No, Isotake. Where'd the nine go? I lost you. There you are. We're looking for Isotake. How much time do we have? About oh, tons. Do 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 All the way up through here. No, I lost it. I lost it. Where'd you go, nine? No, oh, there you are. You're still up here. Still through here. Yeah. Now, there's Isotake. Isotake. Alright, it's this way. It's 400 meters north of where we are. But we are on the nine. There's our right hand turn. There's the Isotake's train station. There's the rail that we're crossing over. And this is the road that we are passing next to. How far away from that road were we? Just south. With a minute and 31 seconds to spare. Okay, obviously this was not a difficult place to find. Although, not a lot of us around there. Okay, so next round. Ooh, gracious me. This is like, um, um, ooh, uh, This is like British Columbia, maybe Alaska. It's up north, though, I tell you that. It's got that feel to it. I should have looked around before we got into the trees to see if there were mountains. Gorgeous trees, though. This is where we're going to lose a lot of points. Not quite so easy as finding Isotake. It's okay, we'll continue to move south. South has been lucky for us recently. I know how ridiculous a statement of that is, don't worry. We could just as easily be in incredibly far north um, Russia or Finland. 
But something about this has that whole American, Canadian, Yukon sort of uh, Rocky Mountain High. If you know what I mean. Is that a sign? Or is that just an artifact? I think it was just an artifact. Crazy, it looked like there was a road sign there. It's a fairly significant dirt track. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in a mountain to this region. This is sort of like a plateau. And I would say some foothills of whatever mountain range we happen to find ourselves in. Awkward pauses notwithstanding. That's paved. We found a paved road. This is good. Pavement is good. This is likely a park. And the reason I think it's a park is just based on the maintenance of the roads. And if this is a park, it's not an American one. Look at that car. I don't think we're in the United States. I don't think we're in Canada. I think we are indeed. Uh, it's a space for a long plate. Possibly Finland. With a truck like that, though, we're thinking Russia. Not gonna lie to you there. I'm thinking complete Russia. Yep. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Logging industry of Russia. Where is that? If I knew that, we would be golden right now. We'd be going for a 73rd win in the top of the NBA charts. Because we'd be state warriors. Because we're golden. Two minutes. I mean, there's still tons of time. It's not going to panic mode yet. Oh, come on out to a highway, would you? That's all we're asking for. Yeah, I'm going to say... Hmm. We're not thinking Siberia. Too many trees for that. It's a lot of birch. I mean, you've got to figure, this road is almost practically lying. You've got to figure, at this point, we've got to be, like, north of Moscow, right? That's what I'm thinking, is that we're north of Moscow. Oh, here we go. Um, Akulova, Akulova something, va, Gova. It looks like Akulova Gora. Akulova. No idea where the hell that is. Good lord. 51 seconds of trying to figure out where Akulova is? This is not going to be pretty. Alright, look. It looks like this region. Which means it's going to look like this region. So I'm going to take a, a guess that we're like by Yekaterinburg. Because I have to make a guess. So that's going to be my guess. Gorsk. 20 seconds. I'm trying to keep a, ta a tab on that so I don't lose out. 15 seconds. Just trying to see if I see it. I don't. I, I don't like this guess. That's the best one I have available to me. Oh, that's horrible. At least I was in Russia. I said north of Moscow, too. I should have committed to it and just gone north of Moscow. That was exactly what it was. Akulova Gora. Nobody actually got it in the location. 49.46, though. That's disgusting. That's that one right there. Somehow he got to Nizhnaya. Oh, he went north. Yeah. I feel horrible about that guess. We're going to have to make up a lot of work on this next one. All right. This looks, again, like it could be the Yukon. Um, except this time the road markings sort of back us up on that. Uh, what do we got here? Do not something. Do not litter, please, in our community. This is very polite, so we probably are in Canada. <laughs> Stereotypes! For the win! Jim J. Bullock for the win! Circle gets the square! Short plates. 
We're going north this time because the last guess we should have gone north. So we should be going south. I understand how this game works. Mm hmm. Short plates. 60 kilometers an hour. We're in Canada. I suppose it's possible we're in southern Argentina, but based on the cars and everything, it seems like Canada. Hmm. Quite a long and winding road. Bam, 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 bam. No? It's okay. I wasn't really committed to that one either. Apropos! North is not the answer, guys. Why are you making me go north? Don't you know that I should have been going south this whole time? It's only been 90 seconds. We don't have to bail yet. There's a lot of cars going in both directions. There's a house. That's too blurry. But there's a house regardless. This actually appears to be a place of business. This place of business said Shirley. It's the community hall. We are in Shirley. I'm not joking. Community spirit, Shirley. Surely you must tell us where we are. All right, I had to. I had to. It's Shirley Day. My God. Guys, it's Shirley Day. Shirley, the community in... British Columbia. That's the best I've got for you. It's not a through road. Dinner and desserts. It's a country cupboard cafe in Shirley. We've got two minutes left to figure out where the hell Shirley is. Anybody seen her lately? I can't help it. Two five zero. Where is the two five zero area code? Canada, somewhere. Pacific Northwest, likely. I mean, it's likely we're in BC. That's what it looks like. Can we get rid of thank you. Under 90 seconds to find a province. I don't like my odds. Surely looked a little small. What do we got going here? French Beach in two kilometers. It is BC. Okay, so the BC parks. We're two kilometers away from the French Beach. French Beach Park. It is a park in British Columbia. 57 seconds is a god smacking boatload of time. So don't be freaking out yet. Just find the French Be Beach Park. Perhaps stumble on Shirley somewhere. Bob's your uncle. Nancy's your aunt. And away you go. In the next 30 seconds. Alright, well that's not going to happen. We've got 20 seconds left. In the next 10 seconds, we're going to say we're on Vancouver Island. That is a great, great guess. French beaches to the south. Clearly these people know where Shirley is more than I do. Perhaps it's uh, it's been somewhere more hand. See, we went north at the very beginning, and look what it got us. We went through Shirley. Had we gone south, we probably would have gotten to this beach... It says Ocean Edge. That would have gotten you somewhere, I guess. Uh, but eventually there was the 14 sign. All right, so it's okay. We're, we're batting from behind, but we're still doing strong. Sasaki, it says. Okay. 
It does look Japanese in construction again. Let's see what we got going on over here. There's a bear with a fishing pole. Might be a dinosaur in point of fact. We are driving to the left. It looks like we are in Japan here for round two. Let's see if we can do as well as the first Japanese guess as we do. Here, strike that and reverse it. Now, this one's trickier because it is not. There's not a lot of English going on here. So we're tucked farther away. We do see a sign for. Don't know, because it is all in Japanese. No, what are you doing turning me around? Nobody asked you to turn that beat around. We're on the 138. This is not good. This is a small road. So we're on the 138. We're not going to be able to find it just by a blind look, so let's not do that. Let's see if we can get some more contextual clues here. And we're not in a tourist area, that much is sure. Oh, hmm. Alan, where are you, man? I need you. Boy, do I need you. He speaks a very, very small smattering of Japanese. Wait, 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 wait. Shikokuchuo, Shikokuchuo City. Shikokuchuo City on the 138. Now, uh, I mean, those, the, the hexagonal roads. Roads? I don't know how I'm talking. The hexagonal roads are not, I mean, look, look it's not the top level road, right? We got we to gotta dig in. If we want to see those hexagonals. Here's how we go. And I had to get to the, to the what? I don't even remember anymore. Damn. Um, let's go back. Let's go back, 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 go back. Shikokuchuo City. Shikokuchuo City. Let's go back. Come on. Let's go back to that road sign. Alright, should be over here, I believe. Yep. It is the 138. Okay. So it's the 138. All those symbols mean something. If I could read them, I'd be gold. But I can't. So so that's that's no good. Shukokochuo City. And you, and you look, and you're like, oh, good, 132. The 138 must be right close by. And 145, I mean, it might be. 137? 338? 158? So, no. But sort of hope, huh? Look how close we could have been. There must be some sort of logical plan to these roads. The, the Japanese people as a whole do not go in for random road numbering. You know what I mean? Yeah, it appears to be sectional. Now what could be worse is that they're sectional by province or county or region or what have you. And that would be a disaster. I'm not gonna lie to you, these are not this is not the right place. I know it's not the right place. Shikuochuko City is not over here. That's brutal. Thirty seconds to hope you get luckier. It feels a little too much like my first date. Look, I'm committing. We're gonna go by Toyama. It's not as bad as it could have been. We didn't guess China, for instance. But it wasn't great. We're on Kochi, in point of fact. Like, I think you just have to know that the 138 is, is over here. You know what I mean? Oh, 
or you know you're by Niyama or whatever or Shikokochu. I did not click on that. You stupid get Shikokochu. Shikokucho. Shikokucho is over there. I don't, I don't know. We're not doing real great, to be honest with you. We're not having a great score on this one, but that's okay. I mean, the first we, we knocked the first one out of the park. That's something to be happy about. Zvorchik PKP. Zvorchik PKP. Ursadgnia im miasti krachnia. That's a deer. It feels Polish. Doesn't it? it? Feels Polish to me. It's not this way. Looks like an old train station. See, it doesn't look in use now. Oh goodness, can we not click on my recording software to freak me out and think that I'm actually going to close this whole recording? I've already lost one daily for this. I don't need to lose another one. And you're going to make me go this way. Okay, that's fair, but I do not accept your proposition. Okay. I'm not sure I want to go into there quite yet. We appear to be in a park. No, we do not. Oh, that's going to be really hard to read from the side. Betten to some, some, some. Let's see if we go back a couple. If we can get it then. Not really. Alright. Looks like a relatively middle class town in Poland. So far. There was a sign just there. Nash Brzdash. Slovenia, Slovakia, Croatia could be too. That could be very helpful right now. We are in Poland. All right, this is the 188 going to uh, Szluczow and Pilcze, I think. I don't know. I'm not an expert in the Polish language. Let's move this over so I can see it. Poland, Poland, Poland strong. The problem is the 188 is very small. And I don't think they use any sort of sensical road numberings. Nope, does not appear to be so. Woohoo! Oh, there's 175, 78, 80. Maybe they do use sensical road numberings. One eighty-seven. We're knee deep in the one eighties right here. Now we're in the four hundreds. We've turned south, as they say. Except literally, we did. Hmm. Five eighty six eighty seven, and it just it just dies out. It jumps into the nineties. The two hundreds up there. Look, there's an. Ooh, there's the road. There's the city. Which is to our west. And then. Schlutschau. There. Is to the right. So we're in one of these places. Would you say that we're in uh, Krajenka? By a train track, like we were sort of here. I'd say that's pretty good. It's a nice bookend. Five thousand on the front and the back. That's a real good bookend, to be honest with you. I'm gonna guess this is Mr. Bearded Bread. 
Oh, we'll find out. I lost. Better luck next time. 19644 is actually really quite bad. I'm not even up there. I'm in the 11th. That's really quite bad. Well, it's guess number two, right? It's all about guess number two. We get the Russian guess closer. I mean, even if I put it there, we pick up another 2,000 points. 2,000 points would put us at, what, 21,644? All of a sudden, we're in eighth. I mean, that that's respectable. If we could have gotten another 1,000 on guess number four, that would have helped, too. Went up in the six, but we can't. We certainly couldn't compete today. Sagittarius, nice job, man. Hey, but that is what it is. That was the daily for the twelfth of April. If you're interested in doing this stuff, man, come over. Join us on the subreddit. It's, it's a lot of fun reading about all the, the people's guesses and stuff. I'm I'm not posting right now. I probably should, but I I just I. It's not that I don't want to. It's just I feel a little bit of stress right now with so much stuff going on at work that I don't have a lot of time to record, and I feel like all my time should be spent recording. But, uh, you know, we, we do we do what we can when we can, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated on everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.